Hey guys, Steven the Salon Guy here. You see me all over the red carpets interviewing major celebrities and talking to them about what do we love to hear about? Their hair. And today we're going to be talking about Kristen Cavallari's hair, who I just saw at Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week. And she has this really amazing style, probably one of the most sought after styles that people want. So let's take a look at what Kristen had to say about her hair at Fashion Week, and then we'll come back to actually show you how to do that style. <laughs> now, I love your hair, by the way. Very very simple, very smooth. That, that, that yeah. wave is very in. Tell us about how do you get ready for today. Is it very simple? Um, I got my hair and makeup done, so I cheated. <laughs> but, um, but you know, I mean, this is something that I could do at home. You know, just simple little beach waves and, uh, yeah, not, no real, uh, real work goes into it. <laughs> Well guys, as you can see, Kristen's hair is gorgeous, she has that beautiful soft wave, and here with me to describe how to get that sexy wave is Tina Georgie. She is all over YouTube, she's officially reached over a million views on her channel, and she is a celebrity stylist, she's incredible, and Tina, how are you doing today? Good, thanks for having me, Steven. No problem. So first of all, before we start showing the style, let's go over Kristen's hair and what your take is on how to get that wave and, and how popular that wave is. Yeah, I think why that style is so popular is because it has such an effortless look, but it's so achievable, achievable to do it to yourself at home. It takes um, just a few tools that I'm sure many people have in their own bathrooms, and um, just with a quick technique, I think many people can kind of master this. Awesome. Well, I'm going to let Tina work her magic and show her amazing skills on Jen, who's our beautiful model here today. Jen, how you doing? Good, how are you? <laughs> Good, good. I'm excited you're going to work your magic on me. <laughs> <laughs> so, to begin the style, there's just a few things that you're going to need. And they're really important because you want to make sure that you're getting this style not only in your hair, but you want to make sure it's going to last all day. So one thing that I definitely like to start off with, especially when you're using your styling tools, is a heat protecting spray. So when you use your thermal protectant, you want to make sure you get that sprayed all over the hair and give it a nice brush through. Then you want to use a light hairspray. Light is really important, something flexible and movable because you want to make sure that the style stays very touchable and kind of finger tussleable, which is uh, part of what makes the style so sexy. You don't want anything too firm. And then to finish, you want to just give a nice shine spray, something that's going to help catch the light. You're going to create really pretty sexy waves and you want a little sparkle of light to kind of hit and grace the curls and uh, make sure the ends look nice and shiny. So to get this style achieved, we're going to use our flat iron. So this is a great way to get extra utilization out of one tool that you may think is only used to straighten. So let's begin. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the thermal spray, lightly mist it all into our hair, and then I'm going to just give it a nice brush through so that it evenly disperses all through the hair. Sectioning is going to be important too, so just make sure you have a little clip to help section out your hair give you easier control. So if you noticed Kristen's style, it was really loose and the waves were kind of focused down on the mid shaft to the ends of the hair. So you want to make sure that your sections are easily to manage but pretty thick. You don't really want to take two small sections because you still want the style pretty loose. So we're just going to take this area of hair and just get that out of the way, which is going to leave us with a nice piece of hair. I like to finish the fringe for the ends just to really kind of focus on that. And let's begin. So you're gonna take your flat iron, you're just gonna get it in the hair, you're gonna twist it, and then you're just gonna, with a half rotation, just slide that all the way through. And then when you get to the end, you just kind of wanna almost straighten it back out. And do you see how it gives like a nice sexy wave? Now if you noticed in her style, she had areas that were going forward and backwards. So we're going to take another section. Again, you want to make sure that you stay neat with your sections, but you want to be able to manage. So we're going to take the flat iron. And this time we're going to wrap the hair the opposite way. So whereas around the face we push the hair back, now we're going to go and we're going to push it forward. So we're going to get the iron in the hair. We're just going to give a half rotation and we're going to slide that all the way through. You want to go nice and slow so that the hair has an opportunity to heat up. And then you create your style. Take another section. I'm going to push this one back. Same thing. Take it in the iron, half a rotation, and then just slide it through.
The beauty of this is that you're going to want to break it up once you're finished. So really giving the hair a chance to move as you're working with it is important. So feel free to really give the hair kind of a couple shakes as you're styling so that you can see how it all falls in place. I think that has a nice kind of touchable style. Now I'm going to work on the fringe. I'm going to get a little closer to the face. And we're going to take the same hair. And again, anything around the face, I like to bend back. It's a sexier finish and it really stays and blends with the rest of the style. So you establish it and then you just rake your fingers through it. If you see any little pieces, that's what I like about this too. Um, it's not an exact science and it's really just a quick and easy like five minutes you want to run out the door but you want to look really well put together you can totally put a nice bend into the hair. So I'm just going to continue finishing up this side and then when we come back I'm going to show you how to work on to the other side. So if you notice Jen has a little bit more of a fringe. She had a really long side fringe that kind of went into her face frame. Whereas Kristen had a really long, um, she almost had just like a one length style and her hair was parted in the center. So if you have different variations of length in the front, um, definitely use it to your advantage. So if you'll notice, we just, you know, you definitely want to make sure you put that uh, front area into your style. So I just followed the exact same pattern that we did in the back on the fringe. So anything around the face, I think it's really sexy to kind of bend it away. So we just took the iron and we bent it back. And then um, if you have something like Kristen has, where you have a really long kind of front fringe, or no fringe at all, you would just want to bend it back uh, just like you did the rest of your hair. Now I'm going to show you how we do the other side. So on this side, I showed you how to do the style with a smoothing iron or a flat iron. So now on this side, I want to show you how to do the same style using a curling iron, which is probably what most people would think to use. Um, but again, you could use a different tool to get the same technique. I'm going to do the same thing. Make sure that the hair is really well coated with a heat protecting spray, a light mist. Get the ends, make sure it's really well worked into the hair. And then whenever you put a product in your hair, you really want to make sure that all the hair gets the love. So really make sure you give it a nice brush through. So now this side, if you notice, her fringe, um, she favors her left side with her fringe. Um, it's a little less prominent on this side. So this side may look a little closer to Kristen's uh, actual style. So I'm just going to take a section here and just pin that off. And now with the iron, what you're going to do Follow the same technique. You do want to take the hair around the face. You do want to bend that away. Again, you want to create that sexy kind of flow. So take the section by the face and you want to wrap it back. There's a couple techniques you can use when you're using your iron. The one that I like to use is I like to keep the actual clamp closed. I think that really helps get the most control. And you're going to hold it and you're basically just going to wrap the hair around the iron. So hold it downward on a vertical and just wrap the hair around the iron and then you want to leave it on the iron you just want to keep a finger free and just tap the hair so just so you know that the heat has traveled through all of the hair that's how you know when it's safe to let the hair go and then once you feel that the hair is warm you just let it go now the secret to this so it doesn't look so prommy and it looks a little bit more um, beachy and kind of fashion forward is you want to take the curl once it's dropped and I just want to pinch the end and you just want to pull on it and drag it forward and backward. That's what really opens it up and gives it a nice loose shape. Wow, this looks amazing, Tina. Jen, what do you think? It looks great, doesn't it? Yeah, I love it. You think this is something that you would wear to go out? Or oh, definitely. This is, and this is definitely a hot hairstyle, right? Uh-huh, definitely. <laughs> I love it. So Tina, I uh, see so you're putting the finishing touches on it. Um, is it something you want to like, you know, clients can play around with it, people at home, the more you run your fingers through the better? I mean, yeah, I can't stress that enough. I think, and it's really good too, if you're not too confident working with the iron, it's really good to know that you can kind of mess it up and the more you do that, the hotter it looks. So definitely have fun with that. But yeah, you definitely want to put the shape in and then have fun and kind of get your fingers in it. You don't want to comb them out, but you definitely want to just loosen and tussle it. But the most important part is the product that you finish it with. So what I want to do is I want to take a light styling spray. We started with the heat protecting spray, which is going to give the hair the nice lock and finish um, of shine and protection. But now you want to give it something that's going to give it a light hold. So with a light spray, I'm going to hold it a good distance away and you're just going to mist it. And then just continually just take the little pieces and just 
perfect them. Just let them wrap around your finger. And the more, like I said, the more you play with it, the better it's gonna look. Light mist. Those pieces around the front are gonna be what really sells this. So we're gonna make sure that we just keep those sexy and swept away from the face. Now this could be worn um, like an evening look, a daytime look, I mean any time, right? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And if you wanted more volume, um, you could definitely make your sections a little smaller and wrap it a little tighter. But again, just out for the day, you can totally rock it and just, you know, look like a million bucks. Um, I want to finish too with a shine spray. I think that's really important. Hairspray has a great aspect where it's going to put a hold in the hair, but I love pairing a shine spray with it because it really puts the shine back into the hair. And like I said, especially on this gorgeous blonde, um, you're going to see the little highlights of gold that are just going to pop out in these waves as the light hits them. So it's a good distance away. You just want to mist it with a nice shine spray. Make sure you just get the ends and then you can take a little on your hand and then you just do a little bit of detail work around the face to just really make sure that everything looks just the way you want it. Amazing, Tina. Amazing. You look oh, great, Jen. Thank you. <laughs> Tina, thank you so much for this amazing tutorial. Uh, I think this is incredible, very simple, very easy to use. You explained everything from the tools to the products. You did an amazing job. Thank, thank you. you so much, Tina. Thank Guys, you. thank you for watching and stay tuned for more celebrity looks from the salon guy. I'll see you guys soon. These moments are fine.